Welcome back to another video of Starfield. Hey, Captain, I believe you your ship will perform more efficiently if Does you bring me on board. Handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax, we're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or mm -hmm. maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. <laughs> Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Actually, I wouldn't mind if we kept traveling together. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? What do you think, Kara? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Hmm? Hey, Mom. There's just so much to do in New Atlantis. Oh, ain't that the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. And of all the places we've lived, New Atlantis is just so full of culture and life. What are you doing these days? Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But... He's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. Any gossip? One of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Ha. <laughs> I missed you so much, darling. Thanks, Mom. Hi, Dad. I hope you don't mind, but... I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? You have hidden depths, Mom. I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh, took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying, may I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about, uh, 50 years ago. Anyway. It's yours. I don't know what to say. I'll treasure it, Dad. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Well, we'll let you get back to it. But, uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Oh, well, yeah. Miss Noel, would it be all right if I brought cookies next time? Actually, Mr. Cookies, what type? I've occasionally I had my snicker about constellation as yes, an investment, I, uh, but now, well, it's clearly money well spent. All right.
Oh, wow, 1911. I'm listening. You ready to head back out? I'm right behind you. Switching me out for the big boss, huh? I see how it is. Well, of course. How else do you expect anything to be done correctly? Ooh. Ouch. Yes, you need me? What's new? Looking for something? Sure. Inventory weapons. Everybody likes well, that's you. That's all I have to. Do you think he would have liked you? Well, if you, you have my attention, grandpa, Solomon Co. would have given me a good whoop. Let's go. More artifact pieces. I should do that quick. Spinning up the drive. Stick to the comforts of New Atlantis. Let's go see what she wants. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. 
Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. Hmm. They're planning to come back. They must be somewhere nearby. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those canyons. Well, let's go. Several pairs of boot tracks lead into the canyon ahead. Several pairs by the look. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Try it on. I like it. Nice change of pace to the city. Are you certain that traveling into these canyons is wise? The route looks treacherous. When I was a kid, I used to love exploring and making maps. These canyons would have kept me busy for months. I'd have looked into how irresponsible you're acting right now. The boot tracks run along the canyon floor. Good eye, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. You better check your ammunition supply. It's clear that we're not the only things roaming these canyons. No. We definitely are not. Watch it! Nice job. Well, booby traps, huh?
Get ready. More boot tracks. The tracks turn left. They definitely passed this way. Let's just hope they're not perched up on these canyon walls, waiting to snipe at us. Get out under the sky for a spell. Being a mother means I don't get as much. What? Uh, holy moly. Maybe the veer left. You're a natural tracker. More tracks. They go up further into the ravine. I bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be ready. We should be careful. This bottleneck is the perfect place for an ambush. Well now, look who's here. Hi. Miss Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. Normally, I'd suggest you choose your words carefully so we could avoid bloodshed. But something tells me that isn't going to be possible. Who are you? Don't recognize the uniforms. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. 
It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. Um, okay, what do you want with the farm? Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. I'm not going anywhere until I get answers. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So, got any last words I should try to remember? This doesn't need to be violent. I'm placing you all under arrest. If you think I give a damn about the Free Star Rangers, then you've got no idea who you're dealing with. Matter of fact, that just makes it even more fun. Air them out, boys! We've been found out! Don't let them leave here alive! Hostile in area! Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. than I expected. Let's talk. Eh. Eh. Read the slate, huh? What have we got? My contract on the inside came through, and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. I'll drop off the, at agreed upon location upon the credits are in my account. If you need any other ships jacked, let me know. I'm always looking for work. Huh. Find anything interesting? Yeah. Take a look at this. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Interesting. So, their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Why? Speaking of which, hmm. let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now. Ooh, an oven mitt. something here what's that all the way back huh so what have we got animal vegetable or mineral Yeah, let's just fast travel back. I don't want to climb all that way up. Huh. A 
Lady. Ma'am. What's the news? What happened? Did you find those men? Hmm. They were in the canyon like you said. Unfortunately, it came to violence. Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? We don't know. They wouldn't talk. So I have no way of knowing if there aren't more coming. Guess I'll start sleeping with a gun nearby. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Uh, just doing our job. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. Hmm. I don't believe her. She's in on it. I have a feeling she's playing dumb. Look at that. Permanently adds 5% to melee damage. Hot diggity. What do I have to say, everybody? Look everywhere. All right. Council of Governors meet in our very Let's go. Late one night, Annie Wilcox tried to arrest me for public offenses. We're going to go talk to the uh, man in charge. I took a wrong turn somewhere. There we go. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Miss Wagoner is safe. That's the important thing. There's still some unanswered questions. Let's do that. I agree. Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagoner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? They were tough and well armed. Probably mercenaries. That's true. Then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? They hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Yeah. Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway.
That still doesn't explain why they want the farm. No, it doesn't. It just raises more questions. It's a good bet that starship thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. That won't be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the Council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good okay. hunting. All right. Jumping in. Three, two, one. Engage. Ugh. Have we been to this system before? I think so. Maybe not. Interesting. Let's go take a look. Open the hand scanner and look for distortions in your field of view. All the distortions to the source. Got anything on your scanner? Oh, yeah. That's interesting. This looks like a straight up temple. It's gigantic. Oh, look at that architecture. Ah, that kind of spooked me.
Whoa. Wow. Notice how the room is reacting to our presence. Those rings in particular. What's this? Whoa. Generate a localized field of intense low gravity and behold a planet's true power. Holy crap. that way. Help him out.
Bodyguard. You people are a class act. Any way we can repay you. Um extra ship parts. Done. You take care out there. Thank you. All right, powering up the drive. We'll go in in three, two, one. Let's go see. While we're here, let's swing by Centaurian so I can pick up some ammo. Yes, ma'am. Every time I return here. I'm reminded of the importance of Constellation's contributions to exploration. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like, right now. <laughs> we were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. It was a building. It was a building, like a temple. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Yeah. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. <laughs> it was the temple. It did this. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. More questions than answers. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. I'll follow up on the other anomaly you found. Hopefully it's another temple. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. All right. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did... I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. I'm interested. Let's hear it. It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. 
Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Huh. I'm in. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. I'm ready. Let's go. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. All right, let's go, Walter. Oh, your father visited. He seemed desperate. Or excited to find you. He left this note. News from Dad. All right, what do you got, Dad? Copper. You absolutely must come home right away. Incredible news. Drop everything and head over. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. Really? It's an emergency of some kind we can head there right now. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. You feel like you're ignoring your responsibilities. Something like that. It's difficult to explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Well, that must have been painful, considering that was your department. Yeah, I suppose painful is an appropriate way to put it. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. It's ridiculous to accept all the blame. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Oh. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. Hmm. No matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you can't win. That's just it, though. They left me to my own devices, and yet I somehow screwed everything up. At least consul. Um, let's see. So this message you're taking it as a sign of things to come? Yes. Maybe. Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. Hmm. You're... F you're afraid that your absence will cause Constellation to collapse. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it.
Don't worry, Saria. We'll figure this out together. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. I give a damn. Of course you do. I'm just not thinking straight right now. Phew. This has taken a lot out of me, so maybe we should just leave things right here. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Wrong one. Dad, what's up? to grab anything you need. That Aquila City bank robbery story on SSNN. That was you, right? Of course it was. Oh, I was so proud. My child, on the news. I nearly dropped my drink. You were dealing with bank robbers? Well, yeah, there's a shootout, but I kept most of the civilians alive, safe. Jesus. You... You stay safe, all right? Honest to goodness, bank robbery. As soon as I saw that story, I talked with Linda. You know Mrs. Ming across the hall, and she didn't believe me. I swear our friends think we're making you up. I almost want you to show up in your finest constellation outfit at poker night, just so I can show them. Um... I could show up with my ranger badge if you like. <laughs> Wait, you're a ranger too? <laughs> I swear. But next time, let us know you got a story coming on. Might save your dad from having a heart attack. Just so you know, your mother has missed you. Like a lot. Hi, Sweetie, Mom. I, I was just thinking of you. You never knew your grand grand. But she's about the only one like you in my whole family tree. Left home at an early age. Well, ran away, really. Became a UC Marine, if you can believe it. I don't think you ever talked about her. Really? Well, I, I suppose it's ancient history. I only met Grandma a few times. Oh, she was fierce. I swear. Her eyes almost glowed. Every time I saw her, she'd drill me on math. If I got her questions correct, she'd give me a treat. Once, <laughs> I got them all right and answered her bonus question. And she smiled. Only time I ever saw her do that. Most formidable woman I have ever met. I think I would have liked her. I don't know why, but I really think you would. Well, I was going through storage, and I found her old armor. I, I think she'd like you to have it. You have that same thing. You're forging your own path, not just letting life toss you this way and that. Mom, I, I don't know what to say. You deserve it, sweetie. No, oh, enough of this. I don't want to make a scene. You need anything, sweetie? You're welcome anytime. And I mean any. Okay, let's look at this armor. Woo, look at that, man.
to the spaceport. My good man. I have something I need to discuss with you. Okay. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. I mean, I don't feel any different than I felt before I discovered the place. Hmm. I find that to be rather surprising. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Take me to your leader, human. Hmm. I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should act more concerned. Oh. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Huh. I don't... let me see. If these beans wanted to hurt me, I'd be dead. Perhaps that's true, or perhaps you were simply quite lucky. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Yeah? Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. I would have thought this would be exciting for you. Oh, believe me. This is positively exhilarating. Oh, good. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere? Hmm. Sounds like this is one of the reasons Constellation exists. Yes, exactly. Now you understand why it's imperative that we solve this puzzle. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is. Unharmed. In here, I thought I was the subject of your wildest dreams. Well, yeah, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Oh. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening. I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. All right. She is the mantis. Time to get this ship moving. Time to go. Ready for takeoff in three, two, one, go. We're locking into.
into orbit now. Alright. Heading for Neon, spinning up the drive. In four, three, two, one, engage. <laughs> 